Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. I don't care if you like your margaritas frozen or on the rocks. You're gonna need a good mixer to get the job done. And you might be surprised that a store-bought bottle contains zero juice. And you can pretty much guarantee that the sugar is going to be pretty high. And if you look down in the ingredients, you can see all you need now is some water and citric acid. And here I've got a plate of limes I've microwaved for about one minute. And between that and rolling them out will help us get more juice out of each lime. And you can cut them through the center, crosswise, like this. Or if you choose, you can cut them lengthwise, which some claim helps grip the lime easier if you're juicing by hand. Personally, I don't think it helps. But once you get them all cut, you're ready to juice. And if you're doing it by hand like this, it's going to take you a good 10-15 minutes, but it's going to be worth it. See? You got every last drop. And you want to make sure you fill up a good cup's worth. If not, you need to add more limes. Now in the ingredients it called for high fructose corn syrup and you can go with this if you like or you can make simple syrup using one part water, one part sugar, or one part honey instead of sugar. But that'll be up to you. Now on the stove I've got a hot pan boiling some water and I'm going to go ahead and add my simple syrup. Followed by the lime juice and you may or may not want to add the pulp depending on how sour you want your mix. And you can quickly decide that once you give it a good stir and then give it a quick taste. If you don't feel like it's sweet enough or it's too sour, you can always balance it out with some more sugar. It's good to go ahead and kill the heat at this point, give it one last stir and then strain it through a sieve. But just so you know, there's a lot of different things that can change the flavor of these mixers, like this pulp here for example. It makes it more sour. You might not even want to cook your lime juice, just mix the ingredients together cold. This recipe really is one you're going to want to play with a bit. But this isn't the only way to do it, and you don't have to have fresh limes to make it either. If we go back to the stove with some boiling water, Add the simple syrup once again. You can add a concentrate like this limeade here. Just be sure not to spill it all over your stove and counter like I just did. And once you stir all these ingredients together, you can go ahead and kill the heat and let it cool down. And this will easily store in a closed container for a couple weeks in your refrigerator. Just give it a good shake before each use. And there you have it. Lime margarita mixers right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.